Hello, I am Jose Archibogran and today I'll talk to you about stereotypes. But first, let's go back to basics. When we started reading, we were taught to understand the words based on context or to look them up. So, here is Merriam's Webster and we'll look at the definition of stereotypes. The first definition is a plate cast from a printing surface. Hmm. These are not the words we were looking for, right? Let's try again. Second definition, a standardized mental picture that is held in common by members of a group and that represents an oversimplified opinion, prejudiced attitude, or uncritical judgment. Now, that makes more sense of my idea of the world. An oversimplified opinion is like claiming that all Canadians are nice. In my personal opinions, I think they uphold that reputation. That's why I made it my point on my next novel to make the antagonist a Canadian, and he's not nice. A prejudice attitude is like thinking that all Latinos are lazy. But the truth of the matter is that we are not lazy, far from it. Heck, I'm recording this video on a Sunday morning for Clarinet Loud. By now, you can tell that English is not my first language. So I'll address that elephant in the room with my favorite movie quote. Don't think that just because I speak with an accent, I think with an accent. The line comes from the film A Walk in the Clouds. It is a star-filled production with the likes of Keanu Reeves, the legendary Anthony Quinn, and Heli Caragon, Deborah Messing, Eamon others. But the line, the line comes from the wonderful character actor Giancarlo Giannini. The top of the irony is that Giannini is an Italian actor playing the role of a Mexican making wine, not tequila, in Napa Valley. And the film is a Hollywood production helmed by Mexican director Alfonso Aral. So that's why I always consider that quote to be the perfect comeback for a stereotype. As writers, we've been taught to search for stereotypes in our traps and get rid of them. We use euphemisms like two-dimensional characters. And once we get them, we strive to change them into three-dimensional characters. Once the story is told, or a book is published, we cannot change the character they're in. But in the real world, we are still writing the story of our lives and we can change our ways. So I invite you to look at the way that you treat others. Are you lumping people into groups? Are stereotypes the quick and easy way to draw conclusions on them? If we are willing to employ search and destroy tactics in our writings, why don't we use them in the real world as well? It's never too late to be a better human being.